Hey guys, little lesson on equivalent fractions, which are fractions that are written differently, but mean the exact same thing. You can multiply or divide the top and bottom of a fraction by whatever you want, as long as you do it to both the top and the bottom. What's your favorite number? Did you say two? I did. We can multiply the top by two, and the bottom by two to get a fraction that's equivalent to this one. Here's what I mean by equivalent. If you take four divided by 28, I get 0 0.1429. If I take eight divided by 56, I get the exact same number out. They're the same thing, they're just written differently. And as long as you did whatever you did to the top and the bottom, you're good to go. What do you want to multiply by this time? Do you want to multiply the top by three? If you do, you gotta multiply the bottom by three as well. Now I don't know what that is offhand. 28 times three turns out to be 84 another fraction that's equivalent to this one. Would you like proof that it's equivalent? 12 divided by 84 is the exact same number we got before. Now you don't have to multiply. We multiply by two to get this. We multiply by three to get this. You can divide as well. Both of these are divisible by two. What I mean is four divided by two gives two. 28 divided by 2 gives 14. And what you'll find, you're probably bored with this now, 2 divided by 14, bam, same number. We could divide by 4. 4 divided by 4 gives 1. Divide that by 4, because I have to do it to the top and the bottom, 7. 1 divided by 7, same number. Each of these fractions is equivalent. And all you need to do to get an equivalent fraction is multiply or divide both the top and the bottom by whatever you want. Now there's something in questions called in lowest terms. In lowest terms mean that there's nothing you can divide both of these by without going into decimals. Here's what I mean. We want the equivalent fraction that has the lowest possible whole number ratio between these two. All right, what can we divide both of these by and not get decimals? I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, it's five. I'm gonna divide the top by five and divide the bottom by five. Let's see what we get. Can you see? 210 divided by five gives me 42. 315 divided by five gives me 63. Cool. This is an equivalent fraction. Is there anything I can divide both of these by? <coughs> yes, seven. I can divide this by seven, and I can divide this by seven. 42 divided by seven gives me six. 63 divided by seven gives me nine. This is another equivalent fraction. Notice we haven't gone into decimals, so we're getting into lower terms. Can we divide both of these by anything? Yes, we can divide them both by three. Six divided by three gives two. Nine divided by three gives three. Two over three. Now there's nothing I can divide both of these by without going into decimals. I can't divide them by two. I'll get one and 1.5. That 1.5 is no good. I can't divide by three. Two divided by three is 0.66 on top, and that's no good either. My point here is two over three is the lowest you can get without going into decimals. 210 divided by 315 is 0.6666666. If we did this properly, 2 divided by 3 will be an equivalent fraction and give the same decimal. Yeah. 
Equivalent fractions are made by multiplying the top and bottom of your fraction by whatever you want, as long as you do it to both. And if you're looking to put a fraction in lowest terms, we're look, you're looking to divide the top and bottom as much as you can without going into decimals. Hey, best of luck.